Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know about poison oak. How to identify it, how to avoid it, and how to treat it. Poison oak can grow as a shrub, a creeping vine, or even a vine climbing up a tree. Leaves are usually clustered into groups of three. There's an old saying, leaves of three, leave it be. The leaves can be green, red, or brown in color. During the winter, there might not even be any leaves at all. The plant produces oils that give the leaves a shiny appearance. In the spring, the plant will produce yellowish green flowers. Another distinguishing feature are the greenish white or tan berries that hang through the summer and fall months. Cover as much of your skin as possible. Wear long pants and long sleeve shirts. Be aware of where you're stepping and sitting. Poison oak can grow very close to trails and logs. Don't touch any part of the plant. The oil can be on the leaves or on the stems. Don't touch pets or objects that have come in contact with poison oak. They may still have the oil on them. Wash clothes and other items that came into contact with the poison oak. If you hiked with a pet, be sure to give it a bath. Clean your skin after contact. Be sure to use soap, water, and a washcloth to scrub the oils completely off your skin. If a rash appears, keep it clean, cool, and dry. Over-the-counter medications like calamine lotion, diphenhydramine, or hydrocortisone can help control the itching. Homeopathic solutions like cool compresses baths with baking soda, or oatmeal can also soothe the rash. Don't scratch. It won't spread the rash, but can cause scars or infection. Now that we know how to identify, avoid, and treat poison oak, we can all hike a little more confidently. Keep hiking, and I'll see you next time.